Welcome back to Math Wino. Solve this equation about x. 10 to the power of x minus 8 to the power of x is equal to 36. Oh, how to solve it? Maybe you think, oh, it is so hard. However, I'm gonna say that's easy. What have you noticed? Of course, the right hand side. 36. It is a square number. It is 6 squared. So now, that means 10 to the power of x minus 8 to the power of x is equal to 6 squared. So, you've noticed that 36 is 6 squared. So 10 to the power of x minus 8 to the power of x is equal to 6 squared. Now, what have you found? What have you found out? Very easy. I think most of you can find out a solution of this equation. We all know that 10 squared minus 8 squared is equal to 6 squared. Now, what did you get? Of course, we got that x is equal to 2 is a solution of this equation. Since 10 squared minus 8 squared is equal to 36, which is 6 squared. We have a problem. Now we know that x equals 2 is a root of this equation. However, we don't know if it's the only root of this equation. So what should we should do? Two choices. The first one, find other roots. And we also have our second choice. What is it? Of course, if we could prove x is equal to 2 is the only root of our original equation, then that would be a good idea. So now, let's start with proving. 10 to the power of x, 8 to the power of x is equal to 36. For this kind of equations, our first step is divide the boson size by 10 to the power of x. Now let's try dividing the boson size by 10 to the power of x. Then what can we get? Our proof comes 10 to the power of x minus 8 to the power of x is equal to 36. If we divide the boson size by 10 to the power of x, then to the power of x divided by 10 to the power of x minus 8 to the power of x divided by 10 to the power of x is equal to 36 divided by 10 to the power of x. Now, of course, we know that this thing is equal to 1. Which thing? Of course, this one. 10 to the power of x divided by 10 to the power of x. Every number divided by itself is 1. And this guy can be simplified further. And this one, mm, I don't think so. So now, let's start simplifying. This is 1. Minus, here, it is 8 divided by 10. All to the power of x. Is equal to 36 divided by 10 to the power of x. So then we know that 8 divided by 10, this fraction can be simplified. Of course, it is equal to, since the greatest common factor of 8 and 10 is 2, so here is 4 on the numerator, and the denominator would be 5. And I'm going to add this on the both sides. You can get 1 is equal to, here we know that it is 4 fifths all to the power of x, and then plus 36 divided by 10 to the power of x. That's our right hand side, and here is our left hand side. Now what should we do? How can we prove that x equals 2 is the only root of our equation? 
The only way is by using functions. How many roots are there? The numbers of the roots can be expressed at the intersections of two functions. The left hand side, 1, of course, y is equal to 1. So now, if we can prove that the right hand side is monotonically increasing or decreasing, that's okay. Substitute 4 over 5 all to the power of x as the function f of x and 36 divided by 10 to the power of x as gx. And the right hand side, I'm going to substitute it as hx. This is f of x. This is g of x. Of course, f of x, we know that it is 4 over 5 all to the power of x. We know that 4 over 5, it is between 0 and 1. So now, this function, this exponential function, if the base is between 0 and 1, then it is, of course, decreasing. And g of x, it is 36 divided by 10 to the power of x. We know that 10 to the power of x, of course, since 10, it is greater than 1, so 10 to the power of x, it is monotonically increasing. However, 10 to the power of x is the denominator. The numerator is 36. If it is the denominator, then this function is also decreasing. These two functions are both monotonically decreasing. Then, the right hand side is the sum. I'm going to let the right hand side be hx. It is 4 fifths all to the power of x plus 36 divided by 10 to the power of x. This function, it is decreasing since it is a sum of two decreasing functions. Now on the left hand side, y is 1. The right hand side, monotonically decreasing. A monotonically decreasing function and y is equal to 1, this line. They have at most one intersection. What does it mean? It means this equation has at most one solution. However, we know that x is equal to 2 is a solution. That means if these two functions have an intersection, then they have only one intersection. If this equation has roots, then it has only one root. It has only one solution, and this solution is x is equal to 2. It only means that x equals 2 is the only solution of this equation. So the solution of our original equation is x equals 2. Only this one. There won't be any other solutions, and that's the only one. Did you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!